Hey guys, it's me. I'm going to go over how to do week number five assignment. So for this is for May 5th through May 8th. So this will be due on May 8th, which is Friday. Um, this is a small fictional passage called If I Were a Superhero from Scholastic Scope magazine. So you'll first read the passage. And for this assignment, um, please make your best effort to turn it in and do it on Cami. Cami makes it super easy for you to write on, um, for you to see my comments, um, and for me to grade. So unless you just really cannot do it on Cami, it's giving you a hard time, then you can use Google Docs. Um, but please make your best effort to do it on Cami. So you'll read the, pa the passage, um, and then the first two questions, you're going to use the race strategy to answer the first two. So remember, race. R is restate the question, A is answer the question, C is cite text evidence, and E is explain your evidence. So the first question says, the narr narrator says, I think most of the terrible stuff in the world is just regular people forgetting themselves. What does she mean? What does this statement reveal about her outlook on the world? So you kind of have, you have two questions there that you're going to have to restate, and then two questions that you're going to have to answer. So please uh, pay attention to the fact that there are two different questions there that's asking you and that's two different questions you're going to have to answer so don't just answer one or the other there's two questions within that one question and the same goes for number two it says how does the narrator feel when her dad struggles to use his hands why might she feel this way so again two questions within one question so for the race strategy if you're restating both questions and answering both questions you should have no problem coming up with a minimum paragraph answer, which is five to seven sentences. All right, so number three says find two instances of internal conflict from the text and list them below. So internal conflict, we went over, um, it's been a while whenever we were talking about characterization, but um, just a refresher, internal conflict is... Um, struggles that takes place inside of a character's mind. So you're going to look for conflict that's going on within the main character's mind. And then number four says find two instances of external conflict from the text and list them below. So this is conflict that takes place between the narrator or the character in the story and some outside force. And what outside force means is some other person, um, some other event, um, something outside of their mind, um, other people, places, things. So internal is within them. Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking. Um, so ex internal is within them and external is outside of them. All right, number five has a part A and a part B. So if you look at part A first, it says the narrator says she chooses a superhero name that made people feel safe and like they weren't alone. What kind of name could that be? Brainstorm names for her. So just brainstorm two to three different names. If you want to do more, that's fine. Um, I, two to three would be best. If you just have one, that's I'm looking for more than just one. So two to three is a good number of different names to come up with. Um, and then part B, you're going to take one of those names and it says create a fictional paragraph. Remember, paragraph is five to seven sentences minimum about one of the names you came up with. Tell what kind of superpowers would come with the narrator's superhero name, what kind of things the narrator would do with those superpowers, and what people would think of this superhero, etc. Be creative. So part B is just to be fun. You're just going to take one of the names that you come up with, write a paragraph about it, um, and I just gave you some different writing points. If you want to write about, you know, kind of what's going on in your own mind, that's totally fine. It's supposed to be creative and fun. Um, I just gave you some different things that you could write about to help get you started to make that paragraph. Um, so that's it for week number five. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, please email, text me, call me. You can leave a comment on here. Um, I'm finding that sometimes the comments get overlooked or I don't always see the notification right away. So um, try and email or text me or call me if it's something more important. Um, but if you need me help with anything, please let me know. 
and me and Miss Cass will do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, have a good week, guys. Miss you.